Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advanced learning mula first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, kompleto na yung topics natin, feel free to visit our playlist. Okay, let's get it started! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 7 learners! Sa video na ito ay igagayad ko kayo sa inyong week 3 na mojo which is about algebraic expressions. Bago tayo pumunta sa mga learning tasks ninyo, ay i-discuss ko muna itong algebraic expressions. Okay? In the English subject, you learn about phrases and sentences. Mathematics has also mathematical phrases and sentences. You have to translate verbal phrases to mathematical symbol to form mathematical phrases. Mathematical phrase consists of operational symbols like plus, minus, parentheses, or x, or times, divide, or slash. There are corresponding words for these symbols. Aside from operational symbols, it also includes variables and numbers. Okay, subukan nga nating sagutan itong learning task number one. What mathematical operation corresponds to the following words? So, meron tayong mga mathematical term dito at ano yung kanyang mathematical symbol or operations. At alam ko namang kabisado nyo na to kasi napag-aralan nyo naman to nung elementary kayo. Kapag ang mathematical term ay sum, ano yung magiging symbol natin? Obviously, to alam na alam nyo naman na to that is plus. And then, increase by. Kapag increase by nadagdagan, meaning to say, plus din yan. How about difference? Difference is 4 minus sign. So, minus sign dito. Ganun lang siya. And then, decrease by. Pag decrease by naman, nabawasan. So, minus sign din. Pag less than naman, hindi yung less than na inequality na less than na ganyan. Hindi ganyan. Ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is mathematical symbol or operation. Big sabihin, kapag less than, nabawasan din. So, this is minus sign. How about product? Alam na alam naman natin na ang product is multiplication. Kaya, uh, parang x. Next, ano naman ang quotient? So, pag quotient, ito yung answer kapag nagdi-divide ka. So, this would be division. So, divide. And then, ang times naman, pag nagmumultiply ka, so times din. And then, pag divided by, magdi-divide ka. So, division. O, di ba madali lang? And pag more than naman, that is plus. Kasi dito, let's done kanina. Dito, pag more than, pag mag add ka, so plus. Okay? O, di ba madali lang yung learning test 1? Ngayon, in mathematics, you cannot do away with symbols. Mathematical word problems cannot be solved unless you translate it into symbols. Symbols used for operations are called operational symbols. So, yung plus, minus, divide, multiply, it, yun yung tinatawag na operational symbols. While symbols used to determine relation between quantities are called relational symbols. So, Pag operational symbols, ito yung plus, minus, or multiply, or divide. Ngayon, ito naman yung mga words associated to symbols. Pag plus sign, ang mga words associated to symbol na plus sign is pwedeng plus, add, increase by, more than, and sum of. Sa minus sign naman, pwedeng ang words associated to symbols ay minus, subtract from, decrease by, diminish, or difference. Difference to ha. And then sa multiplication naman, pwedeng gamitin yung ganito, yung parang x. Tapos, parenthesis, pwede rin, pwede rin dot. 
So, ang mga words naman na pwedeng gamitin to multiplication sign is multiply, multiplied by, the product of, times, or kahit walang symbol, between variables means multiplication. Halimbawa, x, y. Ibig sabihin yan, x times y yan. Or halimbawa, meron tayong x, x. Ibig sabihin, pag magkatabing variable, multiplication, kahit wala kayong nakikitang multiplication sign. Automatically, na kapag may nakikita kayong variable, halimbawa, A, B, C, multiplication yung operation yan. Okay? Dito naman sa division, ang mga sign naman is divide, tapos parang slash or bar. Yung pahiga na ganyan. Ang mga words na related naman dito is divide, quotient, or ratio. Sa exponents naman, ang mga words related to exponents ay raised to the power of, or squared, or cube. Okay? And then, sa radical sign naman, and root, or where n is any positive integer. So, ganito ang symbol ng radical sign. Okay? In grammar, a phrase is a group of words that does not express complete thoughts. Mathematical phrase does not express a complete thought also unless it becomes an equation. For example, translate the following to mathematical symbols. Number one, I tries the sum of five and a number. So let M, yung M, be the number. Ito, let M be the number. Tapos, yung sum of 5 and a number, ibig sabihin, pag sum plus tayo, di ba? That is 5 plus a number, which is yung number, yun yung M. Kaya 5 plus M. Thrice means 3 times. Meaning, ang mathematical phrase nitong number 1 is 3 times 5 plus M. Okay? Thrice the sum of 5 and a number. Kaya 3 times quantity of 5 plus M. Number 2, subtract 2 thirds of the number from 30. Dito naman, let x be the number. Yung number, pwede kayo mag-assign ng any variable. Pwedeng y, pwedeng z, pwedeng a, b, c, at kung ano pang mga variable ang gusto ninyo, basta ilagay ninyo kung ano yung gagamitin ninyo. Let x be the number. So kapag ang number natin ay x, ibig sabihin yung 2 thirds of the number, that means 2 thirds of x. Naintindihan? That is two-third of the number, kaya two-third x. Tapos, subtract, meaning to say, magma-minus tayo. So, the mathematical phrase is 30 minus two-third x. Subtract two-thirds of the number from 30. From 30 kasi ang nilagay niya dito, kaya mauna yung 30. Naaintindihan? Then, another one, one-half the square root of twice the square of the number. Let y be the number. So, dito naman ang ginamit na variable is y. Twice the square of the number, ibig sabihin, 2 times yung square ng number, kaya y squared times 2. Tapos, ang nakalagay dito, yung square root daw ng twice the square of the number, kaya lalagyan natin ng square root yung 2y squared. And then, meron tayong word dito or phrase dito na 1 half of one half ng square root of the twice of the number. Kaya, one half of square root of 2y squared or square root of 2y squared over 2 or kalahati lang ng square root of 2y squared. So, ganun siya. Another one, translate 2x minus 5 to verbal phrase. Ito naman ay, ita translate natin to verbal. So, yung 2x, ang ibig sabihin niyan, Twice a number. Ang possible verbal phrase nito ay twice a number decreased by 5 kasi nag minus 5 tayo dito. Or subtract 5 from twice a number. From twice a number kaya, kasi nauna yung 2x. Okay? In the above examples, the mathematical phrases are called algebraic expressions. Algebraic expression can be a number a single variable or combination of letters, numbers, and operational symbols. So, pwedeng numbers daw, pwedeng variable lang, pwedeng A lang, pwedeng X, pwedeng Y, or 
magkakasama merong operational symbol. So, yung 3 ay algebraic expression. Yung M, algebraic expression din siya. Negative 5x, 3y, 7xy. Ito yung mga tinatawag nating algebraic expressions with one term. Bakit one term? Kasi mag-isa lang sila. Wala silang kasamang ibang variables or ibang numbers. Halimbawa, meron tayong 4x squared minus 8xy. Kung makikita ninyo, meron tayong one term dito, tapos pinaghiwalay ng operational symbol, tapos meron ulit algebraic expression. So, meron tayong dalawang terms. Kaya, ang tawag naman dito ay binomial. So, ito ay monomial. Halimbawa, meron din tayong xy, isang term yan. Pinaghiwalay ng plus sign. Tapos, merong isang algebraic expression dito. Kaya, dalawa yung terms dito. Okay? Terms in algebraic expression are separated by plus or minus signs. Sabi ko nga, pinaghiwala ito ng plus and minus sign. When the operations between variables or variable and the number is multiplication or division, it is considered as one term only. Halimbawa, meron tayong 4xyz is a single term. Isang term lang din ito kasi nga division yung ginamit. Hindi katulad dito sa example natin dito na minus tsaka plus. Dito, multiplication, so one term lang yan. Algebraic expressions are named according to number of terms. Monomial is an algebraic expression with one term. So, mono, one term. Binomial, two terms. Trinomial, three terms. Pag multinomial or polynomial, more than three terms. Okay? The degree of the algebraic expressions is the highest exponent of n expression with one variable or the highest sum of the exponents of the variables in a term of the expressions. Ibig sabihin yung degree, yan yung pinaka-highest exponent doon sa given terms or given algebraic expression. Mamaya, bibigyan ko kayo ng halimbawa. The constant of the algebraic expression is a number with fixed value. Madalas yung constant, ito yung mga whole number, walang kasamang mga letters or wala siyang kasamang variable. A variable is a letter which represents a number. Yung mga letters na nakikita nyo sa algebraic expressions, yun yung tinatawag na variable. Okay? Halimbawa, meron tayong 5x raised to 4 minus 3x plus 12. Itong expression na ito ay trinomial. Bakit? Kasi meron tayong isang term, dalawa, tatlo. Kaya trinomial yan. Pinaghiwalay ng minus at saka plus sign. The degree is 4, which is the highest exponent. Ang degree nito ay 4 kasi yung highest exponent niya is 4. Gets ninyo? And the variable is x. Yung mga letter na nakikita ninyo sa algebraic expression, yun yung tinatawag na variable. And the constant is 12. Sabi ko nga kanina, kung ano yung whole number doon sa given expression, yun yung constant na tinatawag. Okay? Another example, we have 3x squared yz plus x cubed yz squared minus 2xyz plus 4xy squared z. So, ang tawag naman dito ay multinomial algebraic expression kasi meron tayong isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. With variables x, y, z. So, yung mga letters na nandito ay x, y, z. Dito sa number 1 kanina, ang degree nito is 4 kasi yung highest exponent niya is 4. Hindi sila the same case dito sa number 2 kasi meron tayong tatlong variable in one term. Ibig sabihin kasi, pag multiply mo yung mga variables na to, i-add mo yung mga exponent nila. Hindi porket ang nakikita ninyong highest exponent is 3 is third degree na yan. Ang pagtitingnan ninyo, pag merong tatlong variable, i-add nyo muna yung exponent ng mga variables. Halimbawa dito, 2 plus 1 plus 1 equals 4, ba? Dito naman, 3 plus 1 plus 2 equals 6. And then, 1 plus 1 plus 1. Kasi may invisible na exponent yan na 1. So, degree nito is 3. Tapos, ito naman, 1 plus 2 plus 1. 
that is 4. Ano ba ang highest exponent? Ito, yung 6. Again, inad ko lang yung mga exponent ng mga variables. 3 plus merong invisible na 1 dyan, plus 2, that is equal to 6. Ibig sabihin, ang degree ng multinomial na to is 6, hindi siya 3. Okay? Wala siyang constant term kasi lahat naman ito ay may variable. Kapag constant, dapat wala siyang kasamang variable or whole number lang dapat siya. Alright? Dito naman sa learning test 2, match the verbal phrase in column A with mathematical phrase in column B. Translate natin siya into mathematical phrase. So, meron naman na tayong pagpipilian dyan, kaya madali na lang. Dito sa number 1, the difference between a number and 5. Pag difference, ano yung symbol nito? Minus, di ba? Let's say na yung number is M. Ibig sabihin, ang mathematical phrase nito is M minus 5. Takpan ko na lang yung pagpipilihan ha. Kayo na ang bahalang uh, tumingin kung ano yung sagot. Number 2, 5 times the sum of a number and 6. So, 5 times, ito ay 5 times, sabihin na natin na ito ay number ay A. Tapos, sum ibig sabihin magto-plus tayo dito. A plus 6. So, 5 times the sum of a number and 6. So, 5 times A plus 6. Ganun lang yon. Dito naman sa number 3, divide the sum of the squares of A and B by the square of C. So, i-divide daw natin yung square ng A tsaka ng B. So, yung square daw ng A, kaya i-square natin yung A. Tapos, sum, kaya plus tayo. Tapos, square din ng B, i-divide natin saan? Sa square ng C. Over C squared. Number 4, the square of the sum of a number and 2 increased by 5. Sabihin na natin ito ay M, yung number, let M be the number. So, yung sum daw ng number at saka ng 2. So, that is equal to M plus 2. Tapos, yung square niya daw, increased by 5. So, mag-add tayo ng 5. O, ganun lang naman yun. And then, number 5, the difference of a number and 6 multiplied by 4. Yung difference daw ng number, sabihin na natin ito ay P and 6. So, P minus 6 yan. Multiplied by 4. So, 4 times P minus 6. Okay, so ganun lang naman siya mga anak. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!